Hi, my name is Jay, I am 18 years old, and I enjoy playing guitar and worshipping God. I also like surfing, mountain biking, skating, cricket, and pretty much anything else active. Each week, all over the world, many of God's people study a set portion of the Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible. This week, we will be reading from Deuteronomy 21 verse 10 to 25 verse 19. This portion covers the most commandments of any weekly portion in the Torah, 74 to be exact. One of the commandments I find very interesting. In Deuteronomy 21 verse 22 to 23, it says, If someone has committed a crime worthy of death and is executed and hung on a tree, the body must not remain hanging from the tree overnight. You must bury the body the same day for anyone who is hung is cursed in the sight of God. Well, we know that Jesus was hung on a tree when he was crucified. Now, does that mean that Jesus was cursed? Is it possible for the Messiah, God's Son, to be cursed? Well, Paul talks about this in Galatians 3, 10 to 14, where he explains that the curse that Jesus took on himself was actually our curse for not obeying God's commandments. The Torah says that anyone who does not obey God's commandments is under a curse, which leads to death. Jesus, however, was completely sinless. So when he hung on the cross, he took on himself the curse for our sins. He didn't hang on the cross for his mistakes or by accident. He deliberately allowed himself to be hung in place of us. This means that since he took the curse for us, we can be free from that curse. So, how should we respond to this amazing freedom? Can we do whatever we want because of our freedom? In Romans 6 verse 15, Paul answers this question with a pretty strong no. Instead, he encourages us that our freedom enables us to fully serve God and obey his commands. Well, thanks for watching and have a great day.